What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to create this full width map block in Squarespace. Okay, so I'm here in Squarespace and I'm on my contact page, which is the page I want to add my full width map block to. And it needs to be an index page because we're going to add a section in the index and that the map block is gonna be the only block in that section. And that's how we're gonna make it full width. So just make sure that to start out, whatever page you wanna add the full width map block to, just make sure it's an index page. Okay, so now we just have to add a section below our normal contact section um, for the map block to be in. So I'll just call this section, this will be called um, map block section. And I'm gonna go into the page settings and I wanna make sure that my URL slug, slug is um, map dash block dash section. <clears throat> and this URL slug becomes the section ID. So that's why I want it to be very specific. I want it to be map block section. And I'll go ahead and click save. So now we have this blank section below our uh, index page section with the normal contact information. So now we can go ahead and click edit and drop in our map block. Under more, click map. And I'll just hit apply, that's fine. Not really too worried about the design of it for now. Um, and then I'll delete the text block. You wanna make sure that the map block is the only block within that section. So now let's go over um, how to actually make the map full width. Let's go back to the custom CSS design custom CSS and uh, this is going to be our full width map styling <clears throat> okay so the first thing that we want to do is we want to restrict this CSS just to this map block section so I'm going to copy that class or it's an ID excuse me and I'm gonna target the ID with a hashtag map block section and I'll open up some curly brackets. So the reason that this block isn't going uh, the full width of the page is because the index page content, uh, one, it's restricted to the max width that you set in the style editor. So for example, in, in my on my website, the max width is restricted to uh, 1,350 pixels. So if you uncheck that, it helps a little bit, but you can see there's still padding on either side of 80 pixels. Uh, and this is also set in the site styles. So we can't change that value in the site styles editor or it would change every single index page on the website. So we have to just override those styles with custom CSS. So all we have to do on the index page content class is set the padding to zero. So that will get rid of the padding on all sides of the block. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that class. And we target classes with a period, dot index page content. I'll open up some curly brackets and I'm gonna set the padding to zero. And I'm also going to set the max width to zero as well. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna set it to 100%. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna reload the frame. Okay, so now we, we have the block going the full width and full height of the section, but if I right click on the block, um, it has padding, the block itself has padding. So we also have to target this map block. That's the class that we're gonna target, map block. And we're going to also get rid of the padding uh, on the top and the bottom because we still have this little bit of padding. Okay, so within this .index page content, uh, 
actually it doesn't matter uh, let's just drop down below it we'll target the dot map block class open up some curly brackets and I'm going to set the padding bottom to zero pixels and I want that I'm gonna put an important tag on that because I want to make sure that uh, this instruction is always rendered by the browser uh, and then I'm gonna set the padding top to zero pixels with an important tag as well so uh, that will make sure that there is no padding uh, no matter what the screen size is no padding ever gets added uh, to the block if I comment out this um, padding top for some reason on mobile a little bit of padding gets added it's just a default style so um, it, that's why we have to add this padding top zero even though on desktop it doesn't look like there's there isn't any padding added on desktop it looks fine um, but when we go down to mobile there is a little bit of padding um, you just can't see it because uh, both backgrounds are white but there you go when I actually hover over the map block you can see that padding is getting added uh, and so to get rid of that padding we just have to make sure that we also specify a padding top of zero pixels throw an important on that so now it doesn't matter um, whether it's on mobile or desktop we now have this full width map block so there you go that's as simple as it is that's all the CSS that you need to get this cool effect um, when I full screen it the last thing that I want to show you guys in terms of customizing the map block is that uh, it can be very annoying when you have a full width map block and like someone's trying to scroll down the page when you scroll over a map block it, it zooms in and out so there's a little CSS snippet that we can put in our website to make sure that uh, we remove these types of interactions with the map block so it'll display the location but you won't be able to like click or drag or anything like that that's actually very helpful when you have this type of like full width um, style so uh, I'll just comment this. This will be remove pointer events with map. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to target the map block with dot map dash block. Open up some curly brackets, and we're going to set the pointer events to none. And this way, there's no more interactions with the map. You can't click on it. Scrolling down uh, doesn't make it zoom in or out, but you still get the nice um, display of where the business is located. But people, when they it, like click on it and scroll over it and stuff like that, it won't actually affect the map anymore. So that's really handy when you have this type of full width map block. You might wanna also do it on just your normal blocks. Um, since I didn't specify it just to this one section, now that's removing pointer events from all map blocks. So you may want to uh, just restrict it to the map block section. So what we can do is we can actually, instead of just specifying this new styling down here, since we already have a class set up targeting the map block, I'm just gonna copy the pointer events and I'll paste them in there and I'll hit save and now we get pointer events on all map blocks except for the one within this section. All right, so that is how you create a full width map block in Squarespace. If you enjoyed this customization video, I just launched my first course. It's called Custom Layouts in Squarespace. The course is designed to help Squarespace web designers charge more for their services by delivering more custom websites to their clients. We go over some really cool layouts that can be accomplished with custom CSS. And we also go over some cool features like boxed content in Squarespace, even more custom header designs, how to create a pre-footer in the brine template, and how to center content next to an image, and some other cool stuff as well. So if you want to support my channel and also are interested in learning how to create more custom websites in Squarespace, definitely check out my course. The link is in the description below. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.